SD Butter Fan TV outside the empty Riverside Stadium. We've just lost one nothing at home to Fulham. I've got Big Steve with me. Half time, Steve. I, I couldn't believe we'd gone in nil nil. I don't think anybody could, could there. You know what I mean? I mean, the amount of chances we had. You just want your centre forward just to get the ball, compose himself, because you can't say he didn't have time to do it. He did both times. It wasn't a, oh, it's a snapshot or getting your head in the way, way it should be. You know what I mean? It wasn't one of them. It was, I've got time. I, I need to think about it. And by the time he came to it, oh fuck, I've overthink, I've overthought it. I fuffed it. Shit. You don't want that when you want to, when you're in number nine. You want to be. I mean, I'm no expert, right? Don't call me an expert. But when you're in number nine, you want you want you want, you've got to compose you. You've got to be there, ready to put the ball away and, and say twice rude. He had that chance. He had two massive chances, and we didn't put him away. And I say, end of the day, we should, as you rightly said, we shouldn't be going in nil nil, should we? It should be at least one or two up. We cause an absolute chaos in the middle of their defence, but we always seem to uh, lack an extra man in the box to create anything from that or for someone to pick up the pieces and you know and grab his scruffy goal. Exactly. He wants a bit like a somber longer, funny enough. That's what he does, isn't it? He gets in there, he makes himself like a presence. He's not the biggest presence, obviously Rudy is a big bigger guy than he is. Um but that's what you want. You want a number nine that's gonna get in there. Just 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 stick your foot in. You know what I mean? It, when the ball's thinking about it, you just want that number nine, just fling his leg at him. You know, it's gonna take one of them goals to get Rudy or Brit onto a run again. I know Ru I know Rudy scored last week, but let's face it, anybody could have scored against that shower shot last week. So but you know what I mean? It just needs something like that to get you on a run of goals. That's what we missed today. Just that little bit of luck to get that ball in the net. Um as I say, we were punished, weren't we? End of the day. Like you say, a fest half. Like you say, watching it as a fan, I felt it's one of our best full halves of football, you know, all season. Performance-wise, yeah. They say performance-wise. Obviously, scoreline-wise, no, because obviously we've gone into half-time two up against teams, haven't we? And we say we've looked comfortable. We we just lack that first goal. They say, but first half, we were spot on. Everything was absolutely fine. You could even say, you can quote me on it, Triore looked all right, didn't he? He looked OK. Missing that, he's still missing that final ball, which is what I'm screaming for. I want that pass from him. You know? Don't you feel it's improving, Steve, his final ball? Because he was trying some variation on his crosses today. He did try a sneaky through ball like he did last week. Yeah, of course. It's, uh, it's, it's just, that's all he's missing, isn't he? It's, uh, it's just a bit of confidence. It seems like he's a confidence blad, you know, someone just wants to put his arm around him, say, you know, don't worry, lad, it's all right. But you say, yeah, that's all he's missing, they say, that's just that bit of composure, isn't he? That's all he's missing. He seems to get that for the 90 minutes of the game off all the senior pros, doesn't he, Steve? They all seem to be giving yeah. him the chin up. Exactly, I mean, there was one point I saw in the second half, he lost the ball on the right-hand side, obviously coming towards the north, and shot and just said to him, you know, you could hear him just say, you know, don't worry, just put yourself back in position. And they say, it just felt like he lifted his head up a bit. And you give him a bit of composure, a bit of confidence to go on and do a little bit more. As say until he was obviously, obviously he was took off uh, for Marvin Johnson. Should we have had a penalty second half, stay? Yes, absolutely. I mean, he fell over a bit, a bit theatrically. But end of the day, he's got his hands in his chest, doesn't he? You know what I mean? If that's not a penalty, I don't know what it is. As say it, it was a blatant penalty. The referee can't even say he wasn't looking at it because his eyes were bang on it. It wasn't good enough for me. It's just awful decision. As a referee, played a massive part in us losing today, Steve. Uh, yeah, yeah, he gave the penalty, didn't he? Um, for, I mean, partly. I mean, what's that better doing? Chucking his leg in. Don't chuck your leg in, especially in them situations when the ball's bouncing around. You know, friend couldn't quite get rid of it. Johnson was trying to get rid of it. You know, we just couldn't get the ball away, and it, all they were waiting for was just that little leg to lunge out. As I say, I've watched it back. I'm, I'm still not hundred percent, but. When that leg's there, it's, it, it gives the referee that, that impetus to go, you know what, yeah, that is a penalty. Gives him a chance to make the decision, doesn't it, Steve? Exactly, and give, it gives him all the headlines. When it take, and then people will look at that and think, oh, you know, they've done us. And right, they have, they have done us. Even Fulham fans can't you know, deny that. They've come here, smash and grab. We've been done on the counter from that, that Assemble Longer chance, but let's face it, I don't know why he lobbed him. Why don't you just place it in? There's another one, composure. But you say... It's just, it was just frustrating. It was just one of the afternoons, wasn't it? You know what I mean? You just got it's, it's like Burris stomped on your heart. You got to pick your heart back up off the floor and go again. You know, but it's it's just one of them days. You got to keep the faith, haven't you? The, the feeling in my stomach, and like you say, in the heart, it's it's building every week now, Steve. We we do need to get in these playoff positions. 
Well, we had the chance, didn't we, today? I mean, uh, I, don't know, I, say, I don't know how the rest of the fixtures finished. I mean, I know Bristol City were getting beat. Leeds were getting beat and down with 10 men. Obviously, Sheffield United drew last night with, uh, with Wednesday. That was our chance today. That was our chance. And now Fulham's jumped us. They say that was our chance. Fulham's now in that, gr in that gang of teams on the cusp of the playoffs. I mean, I know Villa are playing um, Nottingham Forest. Not that anybody's mentioned it, by the way. Um, that, uh, you know, we're in that cusp of teams to get in the playoffs. And we've now, now, we've now grabbed another team and we've dragged them in with us, with Fulham. And we didn't want that. This is our chance to get in. We've missed it. Are we good enough for the playoffs, Steve? Of course we are. Look at that squad on that pitch. You can't, you can't say man for man. 11 for 11, when you're putting all the 11s in the championship, that we're not in at least the top six of this league, because we are. We just need that bit of a nudge, a bit of a, a bit of a confidence boost, and we will be top six. I say, I always wanted top two, but if I've got to watch down Wembley Way to get my promotion, that's what I'll do. Steve, thanks for coming on Butterfan TV. <laughs>